Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about Perforin Granzyme Pathway which is the second pathway for CTL mediated toxicity or cytotoxic mediated toxicity. It's an entrancing pathway for apoptosis which is mediated by cytotoxic T-cell. It eliminates cancerous cells, viruses and other infected cells. So here we see the first point is this pathway leads to programmed cell that, that's apoptosis. Second point here is that it's interaction between cytotoxic T cell and an infected cell. Third point here is that it's intrinsic pathway of apoptosis that's it involves cellular components of the cell and it does not involve any ligand reception like we have seen in fast pathway and it's independent of any receptor. We see here we have cytotoxic T cell that has got perforin, granenzyme B and cellulosin. Perforin is a pore forming complex on the other hand, we have a granizyme B that's apoptotic signaling molecule, which is able to initiate apoptotic signal. So we see here, it's by the process of exocytosis, these molecules make their way out of the cell. And this cyclicine molecule, you can see, it's binded to the perforin. And it only gets activated when it detaches from the perforin. So here, it detaches itself from the perforin. And this perforin goes to the cell membrane and attach it to the plasma membrane of infected cell and this performance then starts making pores it makes tubes towards the infected cell and these pores have capability to passively diffuse the molecules of granizyme b into the cell so by this way the granizyme b molecules makes way into the infected cell where they can initiate the apoptosis after getting into the infected cell, these granizyme B molecules interact with BID protein of the cell. The BID protein is BHT interacting domain death. The BID can in turn activate the BAX molecule that's also from the BCL2 protein family. BAX stands for BCL2 associated X protein. And this BAX has a capability to enter into the go into the mitochondrial intermembrane where it can initiate the release of cytochrome C complex or cytochrome C. So this BAX opens mitochondrial voltage dependent anion channel that's VDAC. On the other hand, we have this cytochrome C. It gets oxidized by peroxidase. We have the different mechanism for this cytochrome C, how it gets oxidized. After oxidation, there's a detachment of cardiolipin that's the attached protein to the cytochrome C. And by this, the cytochrome C gets released into the cytosol. This cytochrome C interacts with APAF, that's apoptotic protease activating factor 1. It has got three domains, that's called caspase recruitment domain, ATPase domain, and WD40 domain. And this cytochrome C plus APAF factor, they form the apoptosome. It's the central hub for apoptotic activation factors. And this apoptosome has capability to activate the pro-caspase 9 to its active form that's caspase 9 and from there the cascade starts. Caspase 9 in turn activates the caspase 3 and this caspase 3 ensures the activation of apoptotic like substrates like in the form of DNAs that degrades the DNA ultimately and we say this is the programmer cell that that's apoptosis of the cell. Guys thanks for watching the video do share this video and do not forget to subscribe the channel.